Uh, good evening, everyone. So today we start a very important topic that is talk, talk. That means uh, in presence of magnetic field, if we introduce a uh, current carrying uh, current carrying loop, loop means uh, it can be circular, it can be rectangular. Okay, it can be circular, it can be loop rectangular. If we introduce a loop, then uh, torque is applied on that loop. So let's try how we uh, see the, do that or how we solve this. Suppose this is my uh, rectangular loop. Try to understand, huh? because the only problem is with the direction. So I just help you. Suppose uh, this is my rectangular, although it's a two dimension, you just think the outer real part. Means if you th think the outer part of this rectangle, so we have length and breadth, uh, the outer part that is length and the breadth. So if we put a wire like this, so current will flow, try to understand current will flow like this, this, then this, and then this. Now, <clears throat> suppose this is my magnetic field normal to the surface. And if we suppose this is a surface area, so uh, if we consider an area which we see later on, so this is my area which is always normal to the surface, okay? And this is my this is my uh, magnetic field initially. See if my uh, area vector and magnetic field are in the same direction, that means that rectangular loop makes an angle zero degree with the magnetic field. Now if we rotate like this. What happened? It makes some angle theta because area vector is always normal to the surface. So at any instant, magnetic field makes an angle theta. So if we see initially, then this my magnetic field and area vector makes an angle theta. What exactly happened? Suppose the magnetic field is upward, current will flow like this. So if we use Fleming's left hand rule, see the current is like this magnetic field. Current thumb is my magnetic field. This one is my current. So four supply outside, four supply outside, four supply outside, four supply outside. So this force balance, this force, this force balance, this force. And then these two forces are balanced each other. So nothing happened. When my magnetic field and area vector, when my magnetic field and area vector are in the same direction. Okay, because there is a vision problem also. That's why I take it this. Now, uh, if we uh, rotate the air surface area like this, so then what happened? Ki this, this two in this inclined plane, this force initially, which is this one. Now, because of this, this force is this direction, which is balanced by this force. So these two forces are balanced each other, but the force which is acting in this direction, now because of this one, this force is acting downward and this force is acting upward. So because this force is acting downward and this force is acting downward, uh, this force is acting upward and this force is acting downward, and they are not in the same line of action. So they create a torque that means the, the loop is moving like this. Okay, so as this is moving like this, so it's a rectangular, uh, it's a torque. So I'm trying to draw this one with, I'm trying to draw this one, not this part, because in that case the angle is zero. I make it this angle where this is my uh, with the ground angle of inclination is theta. And in that case, the area vector, area vector and magnetic field makes an angle theta, okay? So I'm try to draw this directly. This is my rectangular loop. So uh, the unit vector always normal to the surface. This is my unit vector always normal to the surface. I can make it unit vector. And this is my magnetic field, that red one, which I show you. This is my magnetic field. So magnetic field and the unit vector, they make some angle theta. <coughs> so basically this, this is an inclination theta. So now what happened? Clearly uh, from the figure, these two force balance each other. Let this force is a form. This force is downward. Uh, this one, okay, this force is F2. This is exactly equal and opposite. This force is F3. 
and this force is actually upward like this force is f4 length of the track is a length of the track is a length of the track is b okay length of this track is a length of this track is b this angle is theta so this force one that is i is the current i is the current a is the length and magnetic field is the b we know from uh, the previous class force is equals to i a b force is equals to i a b here here the force is i b b here the force is i a b and here the force is i b b so now if you see you can make it change better that this is and this one d makes an angle 90 degree this is the normal okay so i see so uh i can say it clearly from the figure f1 and f3 i can say it clearly from the figure f1 and f3 equal in magnitude opposite in direction and and in the same line of action so they cancel each other i repeat clearly from the figure f1 and f2 f1 and f3 equal in magnitude opposite in direction and in the same line of action now you all know line of action from the electrostatics also they cancel each other f2 and f4 equal in magnitude opposite in direction but not in the same line of action see this is my line of action and here this is my line of action so they they cancel each other but as the these two force f2 and f4 are not in the same line of action so they create torque or couple so they create torque or couple if you want you can uh, write this one again to understand it in much better form this is my unit vector this is my magnetic field which makes an angle theta ah. this is my force f this angle is theta this is a four similarly this is the downward this angle is theta this is f2 f2 is i b b f4 is also i b b this length is a i'm just trying to draw this figure here a is the length this angle is theta force this angle is theta this angle is theta see if this angle is theta Theta. So now from this, if along the basis cos perpendicular with the basis sine, so we can write I B B sine theta and this one I B B sine theta force and perpendicular distance, force and perpendicular distance. So it is very clear from the figure, it is very clear from the figure that you know. It is very clear from the figure that torque torque is force into perpendicular distance force into into perpendicular distance so force is how much they could answer my force is i b b sin theta my force is i b b sin theta and perpendicular distance is a yes sir yes everyone this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. So my, this is my one force. This is my one force. I can make it by different color. This is my one force and this is my another force. So this two force. So my force is how much? My force is I, B, B, sine theta. <clears throat> and perpendicular distance is how much? Perpendicular distance is A. So what we can write? I, A into B, into B, sine theta. Now A into B, what do you mean by A into B? Length into breadth, that is area. So we can write it I A B sin theta. I A B sin theta. So my torque is I A B sin theta. My torque is I A B sin theta. Now here I can write for n number of turn. Instead of one turn, if I make it, 10 turn, 20 time, 50 turn, 100 time, if we make it 100 time like this. So for n number of turns, 
for n number of turns torque is n i a b sin theta this is one part of the question the second part is that we can write it m b sin theta that means torque is equals to m cos b and one more thing here a very very important thing m that is the magnetic moment which is represented by n i a b is it clear a n i a sorry n i a magnetic moment is represented by n i a si unit number of turn no si unit current ampere and area is meter square so the si unit is ampere meter square si unit is ampere meter square and if you want to check the direction because magnetic moment is a vector quantity i i put a arrow that means vector so to find out the magnetic moment we can use right hand curve if my current is this way current is this way curve say my if this is my current if the current is my curve so magnetic field is downward and here if the current is this one my magnetic field is upward so this is my everyone you understand that part everyone up to this is it okay hello hello am i audible yes sir up to this is it okay everyone yes sir so, so here you have two question uh, first question obviously uh, first you uh, note down or take a screenshot okay and today i send you all the notes uh, before iska before tak class ka mere paas notes hai mai dega dega karke bhul gaya aaj mai zarur de dunga iska mujhe likhna padega theek hai so aaj mai likh ke maximum kal tak isko bhi de dunga a uh, rectangular loop so is it okay everyone done you can take a screenshot then hello am i audible anyone please respond hello anyone please respond hello am i audible sir sunte pachhi jama ke ha sir ha sir okay so the question is that see the question question is that a rectangular loop of area A rectangular loop of area, one hundred, one hundred millimeter square, uh, carrying a current, carrying a current, ten ampere, carrying a current, ten ampere. Uh, number of turns, number of turns, one thousand. Number of turn, one thousand. Placed in a in presence of uh, uni uniform magnetic field. Uniform magnetic field B is equals to ten to the power three tesla. Ten to the power three tesla. In such a way that in such a way that <coughs> magnetic field B makes an angle sixty degree with the plane of the loop. So, देखो ये either rectangular or circular loop doesn't matter. So, and this is my normal of the loop. and this is my magnetic field of the loop magnetic field and according to question this is this is very very important and vital point uh, don't judge the question like we know torque is n i a b sin theta ye theta dekha aur theta mar diya aisa mat karna pehle dekho kya bola hai ki uh, number of turn 100 1000 place in presence of uniform magnetic field b equals to 10 to the power 3 Tesla in such a way, ध्यान से देखो, in such a way that magnetic field B makes an angle theta with the plane of the loop. Magnetic field makes an angle theta with the plane of the loop that is 60 degree. So see, sometime examiner doing this type of uh, thing with you. Here in the question, your actual angle is this much, magnetic field and normal vector. But sometime they give you the angle with the loop. So if they give you the angle with the loop is sixty degree, so you have to take it how much degree? 
30 degrees. Is it clear, everyone? Now everything is okay. Number of ton, 1000. Current 10 ampere, area 100 into millimeter 10 to the power minus 6. Magnetic field 10 to the power 3. Sign 30 degree. Don't take 60 degree because here the angle theta with the plane is 60 degree. So with the normal is 90 minus 60. If the angle with the normal, then you take directly the angle. If the angle with the plane, convert it into with the normal. So what you have? 10, 4, 5, 6, 10 to the power 3 into sine 30 is half. That is 500 Newton meter. Clear, everyone? Everyone, is it OK? Everyone, is it OK? Hello. After that part, what are Kotha Bolishna Kanuri Baba? Am I audible? Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. So now this is one type of question. Second type of question is see, they can ask you find the magnetic moment. Find find the magnetic moment. Find the magnetic moment. They give you like this. What is the magnetic moment for this one? They give you same question you see for the uh, magnetic field. Now you have to find out the magnetic moment. Now you have to find out the magnetic moment. This is R1. This is R2. This is the first question. Question number one. And question number two. This is the current. This radius is R1. This radius is R2. I is the current. Find the magnetic moment. I just help you. The magnetic moment is NIA. But here, no mention. They are not mentioned about the number of current. So we can take N equals to 1. So you have to find out current into area with the direction. And for direction, you have to use a right hand curve rule, same like magnetic field. So try and tell me the answer. I'm stopping. Hello. See, a uh, very simple question for the first part. Let this is the first part, and this is the second part. So total magnetic moment, magnetic moment by the first part, magnetic moment by the second part. Same like current, uh, same like magnetic field, cross. Cross. So number of turn one. So current is I. Area of that part. What is the area of that part? Semicircle. Semicircle mane pi r1 square by 2. Now the area of that part. The only difference here, we have to find out the area. So I pi r2 square by 2 cross. So I pi by 2, if we take common, r1 square plus r2 square cross. Now in this question, again, you have 1 and 2. Again, you have 1 and 2. Again, you have 1 and 2. So, net magnetic moment, let it be 1, let it be 2. First one is cross. Second one is dot. Now, I this area pi r1 square by 2 plus i pi r2 square by 2. Now it is very clear the last one see in magnetic field if the radius is in denominator as if the value of the radius smaller net magnetic will increase. Now here as you find out the area if your radius increase so magnetic uh, magnetic moment increase if your radius decrease so magnetic moment decrease. So among these two which one is higher value? R2 is higher value, so this one is higher value. So how we write it? I pi by 2 
R2 square minus R1 square. Overall dot. Everyone clear? Everyone, is it okay? Everyone, is it okay? Achha. Next one is very, very important. Next one is very, very important. Moving coil galvanometer. Five marks question examiner can ask you from that part. Moving coil galvanometer. MCG. 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 That is moving coil galvanometer. Moving coil galvanometer. So, see in this moving coil galvanometer, what happened? Uh, first of all, you have an arc magnet like this north pole and south pole, north pole and south pole arc magnet. In between this arc magnet, you have to put, uh, you have to put a soft iron core, you have to put a soft iron core and a wire is wounded like this. This is a soft iron core and sorry, this wire is a phosphor bronze wire, which is a Connect with uh, this fashion head. So, we have to attack it. It is a spring. It is a fashion head. Now, with this, this uh, magnet, we have to needle. And here, a spring. This is 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 if we see the galvanometer, galvanometer may as a arrow or as a reflection. So it can be moved left side, it can be moved right side, depend on the, the direction in which the current flow uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise. This is a box plastic or wooden box, and terminals this we connect karte, on karte hai, aur hum log check karte hai, whether it gives you a deflection or not. So, ye mera ho gaya scale. Ye ho gaya phosphor bronze wire. Phosphor bronze wire. Ye ho gaya tertian head. Ye ho gaya soft iron core. Here we have arc magnet. Here we have spin. Everyone done? Hello. So, dekho isme first sabse pehla ek objective question pushta hai ki why we use uh, first one objective question ask can be asked by examiner why, why we use this arc magnet. So why we use arc magnet? If we use arc magnet, try to understand, this is my north pole, this is my south pole. And if we put a magnet, means a soft iron core here like this, if we put it like this, so what we can see, so we can see the top view like this. Okay, so that means the magnetic field enter and leaving entering and leaving the soft iron core normally 
as the magnetic field entering and leaving normally that means magnetic field and area vector are perpendicular to each other that means theta the angle is 90 degree between between magnetic field and area vector so jab bhi theta 90 degree hoga torque is what torque is maximum so why we make it arc magnet so that magnetic field and area vector are normal hmm. means the theta is 90 degree when the theta is 90 degree we get the maximum torque so why we make it arc to get the maximum torque clear now after that now see what happened the <coughs> Uh, how it works, okay, how it works, that is very, very important part. <clears throat> when you just switch on, so what happened, current will flow through this one, as the current will flow through this one, we know the torque, that is NIAB, sine 90 degree, why 90 degree, because magnetic field and area vector always normal to the, each other, it's an arc magnet, so always 90 degree, so that is NI. A, B. This is my first part. Now, as this current flow through this, it will try to rotate. When it will try to rotate, the spring is try to oppose it. That means if, if it will try to rotate in this direction, spring will twist in opposite direction. So that's why there is a torque and restoring torque means they are against each other. Suppose I'm trying to twist it. I'm trying to twist it. My muscle try to make it opposite direction. up. Due to muscle, you back ka kya aya. So restore, that's why it's called restoring. So restoring torque, restoring torque, jo hai, that is equals to a constant into angle. Why? Because initially, suppose this angle is zero. As you, as the torque is applied, it will restore and they balance with some angle. So ye ghuma aur ye isko balance karte, yaha pe aake ruka. So this angle is the twist and it is uh, on the basis of scale it is equally divided you can measure how much is the angle money how much is the current or how much is the voltage you can calculate so where here this k is called a constant that is called torsional constant torsional constant per unit twist per unit twist torsional constant per unit twist so at equilibrium at equi at equilibrium means always torque and restoring torque can balance each other torque is equals to restoring torque n i a b equals to k theta is it clear everyone so what I get I, I is K by uh, N A B into theta. That is called a constant G theta. Where G is K by N A B is called galvanometer constant. Galvanometer constant. So hope you understand up to this. Is it clear everyone? Yes, sir. So <clears throat> now here one more uh, very, very important part that sensitivity of this galvanometer, hmm, sensitivity means uh, which one is more sensitive, how you make it more sensitive instrument. What do you mean by sensitive? Sensitive means a very small change, a very small deflection also we can able to measure. So sensitivity, sensitivity of galvanometer S is inversely proportional to G. That means directly proportional to N A B by K. This is very, very important. How you make a more sensitive instrument by increasing the number of turns, by increasing the cross-sectional area, by increasing the strength of the magnetic field and by decreasing the spring constant. Why by decreasing the spring constant? Because if it's a very hard spring, 
इट्स नॉट एबल टू ट्विस्ट एंड इफ इट्स अ वेरी सॉफ्ट स्प्रिंग देखो मेरा हाथ का ताकत जितना कम होगा मतलब मैं अगर ज्यादा मसल्स वाला हुआ तो मैं इसको मोर नहीं पाऊंगा लेकिन मैं एकदम पतला वाला हूँ एकदम हाथ में दम नहीं है तो मैं इसको ज्यादा मोर सकता हूँ सो दैट मीन्स स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट जितना कम होगा आई कैन मेक इट मोर ट्विस्ट मतलब ज्यादा एंगल मिलेगा जितना ज्यादा एंगल मिलेगा उतना अच्छा से वी कैन एबल टू सी दैट वी कैन एबल टू सी दैट डिफ्लेक्शन सो इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट अब देखो यही जो सेंसिटिविटी है इस सेंसिटिविटी को दो पार्ट में डिवाइड किया गया है This sensitivity is divided in two parts. One is called the current sensitivity. One is called the current sensitivity. So, how you define current sensitivity? Current sensitivity is defined as deflection per unit current. So, if you see this formula, see if we write theta by i, what we have n n a d by k. This is called the current sensitivity. current sensitivity current sensitivity another one is the voltage sensitivity how you define voltage sensitivity deflection per unit voltage so what you write n a b current yeah you can write it in that way also theta by current into resistance that is n a b by k into r that is called the voltage sensitivity that means by using galvanometer we can measure deflection of current we can measure deflection of voltage and as we can measure the deflection of current and we can measure the deflection of voltage so that's why we can try to convert this galvanometer into voltmeter we can convert galvanometer into ammeter which we see in the next class but first we can concentrate that part how we measure the current sensitivity or voltage sensitivity from this galvanometer see uh, generally two types of questions are given one is a percentage based question another one is simply they give you some data and on that basis you have to find out ratio or some value these are very simple you just remember the formula or you just derive the formula once you derive the formula you can find out all these things and for that you just remember torque is equals to restoring torque ni ab equals to Theta. You, if you just remember this one, don't need to remember all these things. You just remember this one. Then see current sensitivity, deflection per unit current. Theta by i. You automatically find out. Once you find out theta by i, theta by i into r is your voltage sensitivity. So no need to remember all this formula. You just remember torque that is N I A B equals to K theta. K means angle and some constant. So that is very simple. now i just want to give you question uh, my first question is see i'm just try to read the question my first question is uh, for a moving coil galvanometer for a for a moving coil galvanometer if we increase the number of turn by 20% if we increase the number of turn increase by increase by 20% For a uh, moving coil galvanometer, if we increase number of turn by twenty percent and resistance R become one point five R and resistance R become one point five R, how how percentage change in current sensitivity and voltage sensitivity? How percentage change in current sensitivity and voltage sensitivity? how the percentage change in current sensitivity and voltage i just again tell you the question question is that you have a galvanometer which you have a initial current sensitivity and you have a initial voltage sensitivity you have the formula here now if you increase the number of turn in become 20% increase how the new uh, current sensitivity become in terms of percentage means how your new current sense uh, how your percentage change in new current sensitivity if your percentage increase by 20% similarly now the percentage is increased and at the same time if you increase the resistance also so if you increase the percentage of a number of turn and resistance yeah, r become 1.51 so how your current sensitivity change and voltage sensitivity change in terms of percentage so how you find out you have the initial value 
to find out the final value, then final minus initial by initial into 100 is your possibility. So try this question. I'll give you two, three minutes for that. <clears throat> See, this is my old current sensitivity. This is my old voltage sensitivity. And if I try to find out the new current sensitivity, so I can write here uh, new uh, current sensitivity, new. So the only difference is that the number of current N become 20% increase means 1.5, 1.2 N. So 1.2 N A B by Nothing. Uh, only the number of turn change register as it is. So as only the number of turn change. So we can say it 1.2 SI, then new one. So if we want to find out the percentage, the formula is new minus old by old into 100. That is the percentage. So 1.2 SI minus SI by SI to 100 percentage, that is 20 percentage. As you get the positive value, that means increase. Now the second one, voltage sensitivity. In voltage sensitivity new, that is 1.2 NAB by K into R, R is 1.5 R. So 1.2 by 1.5 is 0 0.8 SV. So new minus old by old into 100, percentage that is 0 0.8 SD minus SP by SP into 100 percentage that is minus 20 percentage. So what do you mean by minus 20 percent decrease? Okay, everyone. Everyone, is it okay? Everyone, is it okay? Everyone, is it okay? Are hai na kisi to ball. Salman. Hey sir. Usse pehle chish. Hey sir. Now the next question. Dekho, one more question is there. Uh, mostly yehi do questions aata hai, and these are this type of questions. Bahut hi rare entrance mein aayega. Entrance may I get the direct formula based I get current sensitivity and twenty sensitivity. Next question is also a very good question. Two uh, <clears throat> two moving coil galvanometer M1 and M2. They have two moving coil galvanometer hai, M1 and M2 have the following particulars. Two moving coil galvanometer M1 and M2 have the following particulars. The resistance is given 10 ohm and uh, resistance is given. 14 ohm, uh, number of turn given 30, and number of turn given 42. Cross sectional area given 36 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square. Cross sectional area is given 18 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square. Magnetic field is given 0 0.25 Tesla, 0 0.5 Tesla. Okay. Uh, the spin constant are identical, means for both spin constant is same. Spin constant are identical for the two uh, springs. Determine the ratio of number one, current sensitivity of M1 and M2. Number two, ratio of voltage sensitivity of M1 and M2. So see, first we can say current sensitivity of M1, current sensitivity of M2. My current sensitivity formula is what? My current sensitivity is N1, A1, B1 by same K, N2, A2, B2 by same K. So what we have? N1, A1, B1 by N2, A2, B2. Is it okay, everyone? So now all the data are given. N1, how much? 30 by 42. A1, 36 
into 10 to the power minus 3, 18 into 10 to the power minus 3, B1 0 0.25, B2 0 0.5. So you can easily cancel them. Atrato Chotirish Dui, Eta Dui, Dui Dui Ketegalo, so Pachoi, Choi Shatta Bialish, Pashatta Pachoi, Tirish. So five by seven. Is it okay, everyone? Matter. Now, the second one is voltage sensitivity of M1, voltage sensitivity of M2. See, voltage sensitivity of M1 and voltage sensitivity of M2. You again write all these things, or you can use a little bit of your brain. M1 by R1, I can write. M2 by R2, which we I or which we already find out. So what we can write R2 by R1 and SIM1 by SIM2. On that basis, R2 by R1, see, 14 by 10, and this is 5 by 7. So 7 by 5, 5 by 7, that is 1 is to 1. Everyone, you understand that part? Yes, sir. So, uh, <clears throat> so that's it for today. Uh, maximum, I 